Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of June 2018 reading. This is for June 25th through July 1st or whenever it resonates because we all know the timing is fluid and keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you because it may not, it just may not, okay? So keep that in mind. Generally my readings are love readings. We are going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you will get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please leave all negative comments about another sign out of the comment thread. It's, you can feel free to write a comment about your negative situation, but just leave that sign out of it because I just would like you to. Um, Gemini. I feel like things are having a hard time coming together. Okay, these cards, they feel stiff. Really stiff. And they haven't. I mean, I use them all the time. So that, that was hard to shuffle. Very stiff. And this one feels stiff too. Almost like the deck is heavy. So I'm feeling like you are stiff. You may be feeling kind of... You may have, may have a heavy decision on you. See, I, it's crazy. You may have a heavy decision that you need to make. Um... This is for the sign of Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Two of Cups. And the Five of Cups reversed. You may have a new opportunity in love, Gemini. Okay? Or love might be on your mind. Partnership might be on your mind. The Five of Cups reversed is beginning to realize the truth of a situation about a love, perhaps. Beginning to realize the truth about feelings. I'm not sure. Ten of Coins. Something. Ten of Coins reversed. You may have turned away from a love situation. And now you're beginning to realize something like that or somebody may have turned away from you keep in mind these readings can all be vice versa but there's been some sort of family feuds here or feuds with a partnership okay you could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn and it feels as though there's fear of sacrifice here fear of sacrifice and love somebody is afraid whether it's you or the other person somebody is afraid of what they're going to have to give up if they you know, go with this partnership or something like that. Somebody has been stalling on love, but there is an opportunity for love. If you want to invest in it, you're going to have to work on it if you want it. You have to put, you have to put your effort into it. Um, but it feels as though you may feel like something is a little bit overwhelming. Something is overwhelming. Um, you're indecisive indecisive about whether this is secure or not whether this is secure this is stable or if you even want it you know I think you do want it but you do but you don't you do but you don't I think that you have some negative thoughts you're probably very pessimistic about love but you want it Okay, I want it, but I, I'm really afraid. I'm really afraid of it. I'm, 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 I don't, I'm not optimistic that this is really going to work out. But you want it. I feel like you do. So, interesting. You may have a lack of self-esteem, a lack of, um, a lack of, uh, inner strength for some reason. I mean, that strength card is reversed. And I think right now, I mean, the basis of this reading is the Eight of Coins. So the Eight of Pentacles, which is, you know, do you have time for love or do you want to just focus on your job? I mean, that's what the basis of this is. This is the bait. This is your indecision. Are you, are you looking for, for just financial prosperity or are you looking for love? I mean, that's what you, that's where your indecision lies. What, do, what is it that you want? 
it feels is right now you have this 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 fear of sacrificing your job or your money or whatever in 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 the name of love you know what i mean to what if i go for this love connection that i feel then you know it's going to affect my my wallet or my bank account or my job i think that's a big deal here i feel as though you know, your challenge is your own mind. It's your own indecisiveness. You may feel as though in your pessimism, that's your challenge. Your challenge is you're so, you're so pessimistic about, about, um, your own, about offering your, what you have to offer financially to another person. I think that you're just like, geez, I'm pro. What are they really after here? I think that you're, you're, you're trying to discern the situation a little bit too much. I feel like you, you have a lot of pride in all that you have obtained and you're afraid to lose it, whatever that is. But I feel as though right now you're beginning to come to the realization that you really do want love, but you know that you're going to have to put time and effort into it and you, you're, you fear, you fear that sacrifice. And people can see that. People can see that you don't want to sacrifice your money, that you don't want to f sacrifice your your heart either. You know what I mean? It's like you're really, really scared. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you're scared. But I think that you probably right have an opportunity that could lead to something stable and secure. But, you know, th this person may feel like they're being attacked by you as well, okay? Because this is the feeling like you're being attacked and this is a... This could be the person. This is a man or a woman. Probably an earth sign. Could be somebody else. They could feel like you are attacking them and that you don't have anything good to say. So they could be feeling like, oh, no, I don't want to be involved in this. I don't want to be involved in this feud. I don't want to be involved. You know, they may feel like they're going to turn away from you, you know, because, I don't know, this is really confusing. I feel like, you know, there could be a message of love coming in, you know, whether you're giving it or they're giving it, but you, you know... You, they might turn away from you because they don't, they don't want to feel attacked. I'm not sure what this is, but you know, you could be dealing. That's, this is you, this is you. But you could be dealing with another air sign. But I think this is you, you know, coming across a little bit harsh. You may be coming across harshly and and too intense for this other person that is very down to earth. And I think that. You know, you may, they, they're feeling attacked. I think you're dealing with somebody who is absolutely feeling attacked and criticized by you. And so you're pushing them away, this ten of, this ten of coins. Somebody is, is deciding, you know, I don't want to be involved in this feud because the ten of coins is a feud, like a, a feud. I don't want to be involved in it. You know, so I feel as though, you know, and this is in your challenge position, you're, you are the challenge for whoever this person is. I think that you, you, they consider you a challenge. They're like, oh my God, this person is too um, assertive for me. You know, I think that you're, they may see that, think that you are hard to love because you're too assertive with your, your own ways, you know, with your words. I feel like there is an opportunity for a love connection between you and another person, but they feel like they are verbally attacked by you. But I don't think that you see it that way. You're just you're just telling it the way it is. You're being honest, you know. And, and you may have real feelings for them. And you're just, you know, you may be on the defensive a little bit. Because they're not reciprocating the, like you would like them to. But they're, they're afraid to reciprocate because I think that they're afraid of you. So, they're, you know, they're afraid of your assertiveness. They're afraid of your hastiness and, and your ability to just be so upfront and and assertive. And I feel like that makes them feel like you may not be suited for them. So just beware. You may be coming across a little bit too strong for somebody. For somebody, you know, they may some you may have somebody or they may have somebody that's better suited for them, and this may not be a good match. I'm not sure what this is. Um, yeah, you probably are dealing with an earth sign, and it may not be a good match because they are very, they, they move slow, they talk slow, they are quiet, and you're not. 
it feels like there's a lot of opposition here between the two of you. Now you're both together, and it's this man or woman. It feels like you, whether you're a man or a woman, air signs and uh, fire signs are masculine, and earth and water are feminine. So it feels like whether you're male or female, I mean, those are that's the way it is. So it feels like you, they may feel like you're you're too. You're too much. You're too much for them. And, and they're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Step back. Step back. You know, they're they're more apt to just walk away from the drama and where you want to deal with it. So I feel as though there's a partnership that that is probably, I think it's dissolving because you don't see eye to eye with this person. I'm not sure what this is. But there's 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 a connection as well. So yeah, you guys don't see the eye to eye. You don't think up think the same way. But there is some sort of connection. But it looks like it's not going to lead to happiness because you just can't you can't you can't get through to them. They don't think the same way as you do. I feel like right around the corner, there is somebody's going to be cut out. Somebody is going to be cut out, whether you cut them out or they cut you out. They're just, it's, it's just going to be, it's, I, I'm not going to deal with this criticism. I'm not going to deal with this attack. I, I'm, I'm getting out of this situation. I'm not going to be attacked by you, whether it's you or them. Yeah, it feels like, you know, somebody is avoiding a much bigger disaster by by going down a new path by I feel like there's a there's some sort of major upheaval that is going to be avoided by some by turning away from this Okay, so this is a blessing in disguise. I feel like there is some sort of, there's passion between the two of you. There is. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of sensuality, okay? There is. There is a connection between the two of you. But it feels like it's too harsh. It's too quick. It's too intense. And therefore, that there is some sort of, I think, you know, turning away from it, somebody's going to turn away from it, even though there is passion, they're going to turn away from it and avoid a much bigger disaster, and they're going to go down a new path. So I feel like there is a fresh start here, a new beginning here, Gemini, for you that doesn't allow you or doesn't ask you to bring this with you, okay? It doesn't. I think that there is, I think that you've been sacrificing your, your energy on somebody that isn't meant to be long term. Okay, I think this was somebody that came into your life. There was passion, but I think you have somebody else. I think you have a new, a new opportunity with somebody that is better suited for you. Okay, so I think that There's a lot of discontent in your life over this person. There is. And it's holding you back. It's what, You may want a fresh beginning with this person. But they don't want to be attacked. Whether it's you or them. Somebody wants a new beginning. But they don't want to be attacked. Somebody does it, is feeling attacked. And therefore it's caused a lot of discontent. And I don't want to commit. I don't want to commit to this. If I have to completely. If I have to constantly fight and, and play with you. You know if we have to con constantly go back and forth. And. And compete for for um, who's right and who's wrong. You know, that's what it looks like to me. It's like this is a competition here. And you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want that. I don't want it. I don't. I'm not in competition with you. Whether this is you or the other person, somebody is like, this is a this is a big, huge competition. Yeah, we have a connection, but I'm not going to be attacked by you just so you can win, just so that you can be right. You know, there's a bat, lot of back and forth here. Stubbornness, absolutely some stubbornness. You're dealing with a stubborn person and you're being stubborn as well. Both of you, both of you want to have the upper, upper hand and it's not, it doesn't work like that. Compromise is needed. You know, I feel like somebody is is not wanting to play this game. I'm not going to play this game. 
there's ego here too with that strength card reverse somebody's trying to prove themselves okay trying to be in control somebody's clinging to control whether it's you or the other person or both of you and I think it is I think it's both of you wanting to be in control with the wheel card reverse therefore somebody's gonna end up alone both of you are going to end up alone out of this situation. I feel as though somebody is going to find the confidence to remove themselves from this feud. Okay, they're going to say, you know what, I need a time out. I need to take a, take a time out to step back to become aware if this is what I really want. Because at this point, I don't think it is. I don't think this is where I'm destined to be. And I'm going to find the courage to, to step away. So I feel like somebody is going to step away from a connection that was intense. There was a lot of passion. There was. Somebody is going to step away from it because I, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight with you. And I absolutely do not want to be verbally attacked either. So I feel like this is a week of... Of going down a new path of, of walking away from something that doesn't serve you and I'm and I'm sorry to say that but that's what it is I feel like somebody is about to cut somebody out I feel like somebody is going to cut some out and and follow a new path something that's more exciting somebody that has a little bit more excitement in them I think that there is a new opportunity for you Gemini it could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius that this person has a little bit more more um, adventure in them. They're a little bit more um, exciting than this other person that you are probably walking away from or this person's walking away from you. You're letting go of. You're turning away from this person that you once had passion with. I feel like there's a new opportunity, a new partnership that is on the horizon for you that is somebody that is better suited for you, somebody that is more more fiery, more passionate, more, more, more um, confident with themselves, okay? So I feel like you do have a new opportunity, but you have to, you have to end this current connection that you're in that, that has been causing you a lot of, um, I think, animosity. I think that there's been some animosity between the two of you wanting to prove who's right and blah, 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 and it's held you back, but now you are about to take the next step and, and start an, on a new journey, I think, which leads you to a much better connection. Um, because there's no victory in success with this. I think it's an earth sign. There isn't. There's, there's too much... Um, loss of direction here there's 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 no forward movement okay there's no momentum that's going to be made with this person this person doesn't have the same ideals that you do that's what i see i just feel like there's there's too many differences with this earth sign i feel like there's a fire sign that there's an opportunity there's a new opportunity with a fire sign that could lead to something that could lead to something a lot more invigorating you know a lot more fulfilling for you and it could lead to it could lead to love but you need to stop playing games with this with this earth sign just be done with it be done with it so I feel like you have two paths you've been stalling you're still stuck on this person I don't know who it is because we have the two of wands here and I'm just looking at that I think you have two paths and, you know, you have to let one of them end. You have to turn away. You have to turn away from the one that isn't solid, the one that isn't what is going to serve you. You do. You just have to let it end. It is a 10. You have to let it end so that you can have this new beginning. I do believe that um, you have a new opportunity in love as soon as you drop it. So I feel as though... You may have a new exciting opportunity if you choose to absolutely turn away from the past, turn away from the, the earth sign or whatever sign it is that you've been in competition for 
you know, it's like an ego competition. I'm right, you're right, I'm right, you're wrong, that kind of thing. When you let that finally, finally go and stop wanting to prove yourself to this person, you will have a new opportunity that's much, 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 much more exciting. But you're going to have to take a time out to become aware of why that other one didn't work and what you can do to make the next one work, okay? It's not about proving yourself, Gemini. You don't have to prove yourself. You don't have to. Because when you do that, when you have to prove yourself, it pushes people away. It's time to restore the, the control, okay? It is. It's time to completely remove yourself from this toxic situation. You've been involved in a situation that wasn't meant for you, and it's time to completely remove yourself from it so that you can bring what you bring to you what you deserve and what you need. It's time to free yourself from this situation that wasn't love because you have a new opportunity for love. Okay, you do. You do. That I believe that connection was probably very sexual. Okay, it was. There was a lot of a sexual um, connection there but I, it wasn't meant to be long term it was a it was a lesson and I think this this lesson was to that you don't have to prove yourself just walk away I don't know where that message came from but whatever that's my intuition right there channeling Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. That's what it's about. You need to be in a relationship or a connection that brings you peace. And whatever that connection was that you were in, that you were still harboring some resentment for, didn't bring you peace. You need to turn away from it completely. Let your friends help you. Ask for and, ex and accept support from others. Rely on your friends right now. It's time to bring some peace back to your soul. It's time to take a time out with that hermit card. Time out. Step back. What are you worth? What are you looking for? What do you want in love? Why didn't that last one work? Was it all the other person? What was your pl what was your part in it? How can you make it better next time? What new perspective do you need to take? It is time, it's a time out to regain the peace that was lost in this connection. It doesn't matter what sign it was, could have been a water sign, could be any sign. You were in a connection that was, I think it was toxic. And you need to completely free yourself from it completely so that you can have this new passionate connection connection with somebody that is much better suited for you. Probably a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you do need to take the time out to figure out how you can make it work. Anyway, this is what I have, Gemini. Good luck.